So Mary says the selfies are still called selfies, although our show is now being called the SNG Experience. Yes, we're, we found out that episode is boring uh, and uh, it doesn't get you good ratings. And we're trying to get our ratings up. We're trying to get more hits on our shows. And we will soon because there are things coming up that, well, I can't talk about. Otherwise, I have to kill you. But what I can talk about is the shuttle bay. And I've been working and working on this for a couple days now. This is as far as I've got. Uh, those doors, or actually their locker areas, have to be filled in, uh, they're little coves, and then there's doors are going to go there, the doors have to, all these areas have to be, uh, have dark gray around them, then up here we have got to fix, or not fix, we got to put in the, uh, the observation corridors that run all the way in a U shape to the back and up both sides, and then there's a couple observation posts that stick off the side, and there's one that goes up top there too I have to get. But we are really getting there quickly. It was a little bit hard to get this to all fit in. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get the doors to open and close. It's just sort of a physical impossibility because this is a, um, a, a TV uh, movie slash model and it really can't have these doors go where they're supposed to go. There would have to be a track down here. There would have to be servos upstairs there's no room for. I might be able to put a wench uh, servo on the back to pull these doors open, but there just isn't room. If I chip away at much more of that understructure, we won't be able to get the uh, nacelles to stay put. So there's going to be, that's a trade-off, and I'm starting to see now why other people have not made the doors open and close. Still, I got a couple ideas that I'm going to try, and maybe it'll work. Again, I want to thank everybody who's contributed to this on our, on our page, which is uh, SteveMillsGarage.com on the tab Friends of SNG. Uh, you can go there to contribute to this build, uh, which gives us funds to keep building this expensive model for the Museum of Science Fiction, which is a nonprofit job. We are not being paid to do this. So, you guys have been a huge help, and every one of you that have sent us money uh, is getting yourself your name on the plaque that's being done for the museum. And the people, and those of you that have done $100 or more, of course, are getting your picture as a figure, cutout figure, placed inside one of the many windows that will be lit up in the rooms, uh, maybe even in the hangar bay, uh, where people can look in and see you. Um, Greg tells me they're going to have cameras on this uh, model at the museum, so you can actually see up close on the screen uh, your image in this little tiny thing. So this is what we're working on. But again, uh, although you guys have been great uh, sending in uh, donations and contributing to this build, we need it to keep coming. So if you can, please help us build this and get your name on the plaque and even on the spaceship itself, the Enterprise. Uh, uh, we are going to start another Captain Kirk soon. We have him here. These are the uh, parts for mounting him and making a base. I will be getting to that as soon as I finish that. Uh, you'll notice that I have bought this paint again. Now I'll tell you why and Jason I know sometimes you watch. I had out of three cans of Dupacolor two bad cans. One that splattered worse than Rust-Oleum ever did. Another one that had leaked out all its solvent into the cap and when I opened it the solvent went out and got all everything. Weirdly the can still worked but they don't have much paint in them. So you're paying $8 for one of those cans. There's not much paint in them. There's like about half as much as there is in one of these. Because um, you, you, you get an idea there. This can is absolutely useless. It's just splattering all over the place. I'm going to put the primer in something else and spray it through the gun. But I went back to this because I've had really good luck. I only get a bad can once in a while of that. And I take it back and get another one. And that's the automotive primer, which is $5 a can, depending where you buy it. Uh, and it's excellent primer, uh, and I'm not getting much sputtering anymore. So it dries quick too. So that's it. That's uh, I think it. I don't think there's anything else to cover. Uh, am I missing anything, Mary? I don't know. You don't know? No. Nope. No, I don't think so. I talked about Captain Kirk. We'll be getting back to Battlestar Galactica. I promise. We are working on our movie too. So, but more about that stuff in the next selfie and also in the show, The SNG Experience. We'll see you later.